So now that we've logged a call, uh, now let's talk about creating a task. And so we're back at the home page, and we're going to navigate to uh, contacts and to Deb Sunrise. And certainly we could have searched on her from here. And what we're doing is creating a new task. So uh, let's let's do that. So uh, clicking here, we we get access to the to the full screen here. And so what we're able to do is is enter a subject line, uh, a due date. So let's go on ahead and do these. We're going to send Deb an email to follow up her suggestion to uh, engage others. And we're going to send her that email. Let's say we're going to do that. Uh, let's do it today. And we're going to go to Deb. Um, the, re the related to, we want to make sure, uh, let's go on ahead and use an, an opportunity as well. Or um, what we did. So we have potentially this opportunity in the budget or in the, uh, in the buffer here. So we're going to go to United Oil. We're going to keep it for ourselves. Now, the interesting thing about this field here, status, and note that only assigned to and status are required when you create a task, um, is uh, status has several different uh, different options. And so when you when you click on it, what you're able to see is you can have it as not started uh, in progress. You can read these. But the idea is is that there's there's different ways that we can look at it. Now, if it's marked completed, then it's no longer a, a, a to-do task, but it's actually a completed task. So I'll show you kind of where where that's gonna gonna show up. Um, and then, so we're gonna call this in progress. Uh, and note that you can have uh, with this, you can have a completed task. You can date it in the past. So although it's a new task, you're conceptually marking it as a past activity. Now we're gonna I'm gonna show you some of that as a best practice. Um, but at this point, we've got information in here, uh, and we can now um, save it. Note that two things we don't have access to. So if we now open up this, this, this activity, uh, what we're able to see here is we have priority, which we can change um, by double-clicking. Anything we have with those little pencils puts it all into edit mode for this. Uh, we also can put in a, a rich comment section, which allows us to put in many characters, you know, uh, thousands of characters, whatever, into this comments area. Uh, and you can experiment with that as well. Um, but let's just say for now we're going to, uh, um, let, let's actually, we, we can do it with here, we can create a follow-up task as well. So what we're saying here is, is we've got this scheduled for Deb. If we go on ahead and click follow-up, what that does is to inherit the subject, the uh, the related, and the contact. Uh, we can we can change this to well, let's say we're in progress here as well, and let's say we want to send uh, Deb's boss an email, an email to follow up at her suggestion. We want to let's put this out to tomorrow. Uh, or even better yet, let's give it in two days. Now, you know, again, it's our discretion. We can change priority. We can put comments here and explain exactly what we're doing. Uh, but if we if we save that, uh, what we find then is that when we go back to Deb's record, uh, this is going to tell us that it happened, and we can navigate back to Deb's record. And what we find is is that looking at her next steps. We have a today send an email, and we have a, a, a send a, an email to her boss. Now, two other places that we can find those tasks. Uh, one is if we go out to the tasks tab, it'll show us that we have today and we have this. So again, this is where a, a rich subject line makes a big difference. If you can actually explain what you're trying to do, uh, you also have cards that will pop up to show you who Deb is and, and what was this opportunity again. Uh, and so we're able to, bec because we've made that link, now because we don't have a link here, we don't have much context for what that message was all about. The other thing is if you go to the home page, what you can find is, is that if you go to tasks, like today we have 
uh, information here. If we wanted to change it not just today, but to say all of my tasks, uh, then we start to pick up more information. So again, it's a way to filter that down. Um, so the, the other kind of opportunity here is as we think about uh, about what we can do for Deb, what we're able to do is to, um, we can also talk about, uh, let me get back to here for you. Uh, the next video we're going to do is going to look at what does it mean to create a new event as part of this process. So thanks for listening.